Hi, welcome back. We're excited to have you join us for the final tutorial in our series. I hope you've enjoyed learning along the way. Let's get started. Surface Primitive Plain Surface Let's start by defining the surface dimensions. Double click on the Grasshopper Canvas. 0 less than 300.0. Press Enter. Minimum, 0. Maximum, 300.0. Connect to the X size. Control plus C, Control plus V. Connect to the Y size. Double click the slider. 65. Double click the slider. 150. Now, let's explore how we can obtain the corner points of the surface as separate entities. Deconstruct prep. Connect the plane to the prep. Let's examine the outputs. Faces, one untrimmed surface. Edges of brep, four, zero, one, two, three. Vertices of brep, four, zero, one, two, three. Let's display the details about the list of points. Display. Point list. Connect the vertices to the points. By connecting a number slider to the size input, let's adjust the size of the numbers to make them visible. Copy. Connect to the size. Indexes in Grasshopper start from zero. We will move indexes 0, 1, and 2 by the same value, while index 3 will be moved by a different value. Transform. Move. Connect the vertices to the geometry. Before defining the distances, let's determine the movement direction using a vector. 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 Unit Z. Connect to the motion. We'll use a tool that allows us to create a list of items, resulting in four distinct values. Sets. Tree. Merge. Connect to the factor. Copy. We'll connect the same slider to the first three data inputs. Twenty. We'll create another slider to input a different value for the third index. Copy. Connect to the data four. You can optionally remove extra data inputs. Remove parameter. Double click the slider. 140. Select the number sliders. Align to the right. Delete. Let's hide all objects except the points we moved. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Now, we can create a surface using these points. To do this, we'll first extract the list items individually as separate outputs. List item. Connect the geometry to the list. By default, we selected the point at index 0. To select the other indices sequentially, let's click the plus icon to add them. 
since we have set the points as separate outputs, we can use these points to create a surface. Surface. Four point surface. Connect the points sequentially to the corner inputs. You can also create a triangle using three points. Looks good. Control plus Q. Let's continue by creating a projection of the surface we've created onto the XY plane. Transform. Project. Connect the surface to the geometry. We have successfully created the projection of our surface. We need to create new surfaces between these two existing surfaces. First, let's learn how to select the edges of the surfaces as curves. Params Curve Connect the surface to the curve container. We have obtained the edges of the surface as curves. Let's perform the same operation for the projected surface as well. Rectangle Connect the geometry to the rectangle container. Now, we have two separate curve objects. We can now create surfaces between the curves we generated. Surface Loft Connect the curve to the curves. Hold shift to connect multiple wires to the same input. Connect the rectangle to the curves. We can now join these surfaces to create a closed BREP. BREP join. Connect the surface to the BREPs. Hold shift and connect the loft to the BREPs. Hold shift and connect the geometry to the BREPs. We used two surfaces and one open BREP as inputs and obtained a single closed BREP as the output. Let's hide the earlier objects to reduce visual clutter and continue our project more clearly. Disable preview. Congratulations! You have brought out the main form of your project. Now, let's begin forming the interior void of our project. Copy. Enable preview. We separated the edges of the surface we projected using the project component as a rectangle. We'll use this to obtain the base of the interior void. Curve. Offset curve. Connect the rectangle to the curve. By adjusting the distance value, let's determine how much we will offset the curve. 20.0 Connect to the distance. Positive values allow us to offset the curve outward. Let's learn how to offset the curve inward by using a negative value. Maths Operators Negative Connect the slider to the value. Connect the result to the distance. Twenty. We will create a box using the rectangle we've created as the base. Surface. Primitive. Box rectangle. Connect the curve to the rectangle. We can use the height of this point for the height input. We manipulated the point's elevation with this slider. Connect the slider to the height.
Now, we can control both inputs with a single parameter. 142. To create the void, we need to subtract this box from the brep we've created. Intersect. Solid difference. Connect the breps to the breps A. Connect the box to the breps B. By hiding the previous geometries, we can better focus on our final model. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Let's add color to our project to visualize it. Display. Custom preview. Connect the result to the geometry. Let's change the color. Params. Input. Color swatch. Connect to the material. Open the color palette. Change the color. Congratulations, you have successfully built your project. Now, it's time to bake your grasshopper model into Rhino. Right-click the result output. Bake. Click OK. Disable preview. Perspective. Monochrome. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.